Our devices do many things for us. They help us communicate, they entertain us, and help us organize our lives even. But at the end of the day, they're still just devices. Electrical circuits, processors, buttons, and other interesting things pack into little packages that we keep in our pockets, we use in our daily basis, on our laps, and desks. We give them so much of our time, and honestly, your laptop or smartphone is no different than a television or a blender. Similar parts just working in different ways. But so is the person next to you or a best friend. We as humans function in ways computers are trying to approach. We empathize with people and situations and uh, we can put ourselves in people's shoes for a while where computers can't. We've all seen the sci-fi vision of devices that are like soulmates, as if they understand you the way your friends would. By Centennial Man, Her, Jarvis, there's so many options in the sci-fi world. But what if all of that wasn't just science fiction? What if they were possible? Your smartphone could be there for you the way a friend would. What if it could know you were in trouble and provided the assistance and help? Hi, my name is Mark, and I would like to see some of that science fiction come true. We're a small group of developers, researchers, designers, based in Lancaster University, and we have been trying to unlock the potential for empathy in devices. We needed this uh, idea of empathy to be on a much larger spectrum, influencing different devices and mediums, so it sort of made sense to uh, imagine it as a programming language or a variation of one where it could be uh, deploying the transform from web apps to a mobile app and even propose a build devices. What we ended up looking at is making an SDK for this digital empathetic language which will allow the developing community to come up with unique solutions for human computer empathetic interactions. We're trying to make our imaginations come to life. Empathy is a means of borrowing the feelings of another in order to really understand them. It's not necessarily selfless since you need to be aware of yourself in relation to the other person. But where technology has previously fallen short of expressing empathy is with the things that define an empathic response. Observation, memory, reason, and prior knowledge. Uh, today it's possible to substitute all those traits with digital alternatives making room for amazing possibilities. What this SDK would do is it would give developers access to specific handles of interaction through a device camera and OD inputs. And using correct amount of data, it's possible to come up with an initial understanding of facial expressions, respiration, voice tutor, among other things. Uh, what we plan to do is combine potential of other accessible data from smart devices so we can have a more personal analysis. So your smartphone can give body function, your smartphone can track behaviors and linking back with your social activities, it's possible to draw a good sketch of your psychology. Maybe even the psychology of another, which is the ultimate goal. All it took was a little binge watching on Netflix and brainstorming. Humans are all psychological and we all learn from our experiences so that's what we plan to have in the SDK, as well as the ability for the apps and devices to learn from their usage. So over time, they understand their hosts better, they understand interactions better. Just imagine being able to chat online and know exactly what the other person is feeling at the end of misinterpreting text messages. Imagine doctor being able to read their patients better because of real-time feedback to customer design devices. Or maybe a Google Glass kind of world with emotional and empathetic reading alongside others. Your car could be able to understand your mood and pick the right song for you, or it could let you know you're driving too fast because it's feeling nervous. The SDK will be coming with a custom-built IDE to support all its unique functionality and at the moment we're still struggling with finding the right balance between programming languages. We want it to be uh, versatile enough to be deployed on multiple platforms and we don't want to make entirely new languages for it. We are hoping to use current popular developer languages and see how we can merge them in different instances through the IDE 
so it could seem less painful to code the applications. Hopefully, uh, we will have decreased the learning curve for it this way as well. I know what you're thinking. Computers that can feel? It's visionary to say at least, but not impossible. Mobile phone came from Star Trek. Jarvis can come from Iron Man. Over time, the language will improve as newer research is conducted, and it might also help understanding empathy better in the long run. Our phones can actually be our friends. How cool is that?